Hey, hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your August 2020 weekly predictive tarot reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. There is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below. And I'd like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. It keeps me able to provide you with these readings for free. Thanks, you guys. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 12 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, The Hanged Man. This card is ruled by Neptune, so you could be waiting, I mean, could be dealing with a, a Pisces. No, this is a card of some delays, suspension, waiting. It's like being in limbo. The new direction in your life is in the making. It's being suspended between the past and the future. Readjustment is needed, but there's no hurry. So pay attention to your inner development and be prepared to dance to a different drummer in the future. This is suspension and sacrifice. It's clinging to something that's unfulfilling. You need to let go and move on. It's peace and self-reliance that often follow a difficult period, especially one of self-examination. This is a time when material temptation can be conquered, as well as substance abuse. It's a unique point of view, a sacrifice for a greater good. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Page of Cups, Sagittarius. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. Water energy has to deal, deal with the emotions here. This is someone that's sensitive. These can be new emotions, also a communication. A message about love, maybe even an engagement or a wedding. It does carry some emotional risk, and you'll find out where you stand. This is successful manifestation and wishing. It can be news of an emotional nature. Cups can be ideas from the subconscious. These are insights. It's expressing your wishes and fears clearly and directly. The fish is a symbol of creative imagination, and water represents the feelings and the unconscious mind. This is the birth of creative imagination and new life. This can be news of new feelings and attitudes. It can be romantic news or renewing a relationship through kind words and romantic gestures. The hanged man with the page of cups is being in emotional limbo. It's hindered emotional expression. Your third card this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Four of Cups, Sagittarius, Water Energy. No, this is a card of the Moon in Cancer. Maybe you're feeling moody. It's a card of discontent, depression. You're waiting for the right opportunity. Maybe you'll need to be open for room to grow, for something new to come in. It's resting and withdrawing. You do have options. There's that offer, the divine hand in the cloud offering you something that you're not even looking at. There's indifference, boredom, daydreaming, feeling flat and uninspired and self-absorbed. There's something you're not interested in. But you're not doing too much to change anything. Maybe seem, life seems dull and meaningless, so you'll need to wait for your mood to rise. Do not sink into apathy. It blocks you from seeing other emotional opportunities, and remember to pay close attention to your dreams. They are messages, especially the ones that you can remember, and watch for signs and synchronicities, and do not get stuck in your withdrawal. Find ways to move forward. This can be boredom and depression in a romance. 
It's feeling left out and not enjoying company. Ruminating, overanalyzing, waiting for things, turning things over in your mind, being suspicious, reluctant, obstinate, jaded, being disenchanted, bored, self-absorbed. Your detachment from the world could become an issue. You might be closed off to a solution. The hanged man with the four of cups is a time of self-pity, a loss of direction. It's not interested in hanging around. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number one of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Magician. This is an air energy card. Mercury is the ruling planet. This could be a Virgo, a Gemini, as well as an Aries. Now this is creative power and masculine energy. It's intention and will. It's drawing power from above to materialize desires. That cosmic lemon skate, the sideways figure eight, is a symbol of eternal life and domination. It indicates the harmonious interaction of the conscious and the subconscious. Excuse me. <clears throat> Idea and feeling, desire and emotion. Just like in the law of attraction, as above, so below, as within, so without, so you need to remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen. It's staying focused on your goals, and it's a time for creation and beginning and taking on challenges. There's new opportunities. It's a very important beginning. You'll need to work to achieve your goals, and it's practical action and a time for action. And there's potential in abundance with infinite possibilities. It's being a master at your craft, being definite in your, his or her views. It's being determined making things happen in your life. It's action changes and new starts, and it's favorable for work. This is something exciting that's about to start. The hanged man with the chariot card is having little control over your life. No, I'm sorry, with the magician. The, the chariot card, that one's next. The hanged man with the magician is a mysterious person who does things more for the effect on others rather than material gain. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number seven of the major arcana in the Rider weight deck. The chariot. This can represent a cancer. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. This is doing and pursuing or completing a goal. It's overcoming obstacles, it's moving forward and accelerating efforts, it's staying on track, it's being purposeful and brave and driven, disciplined and ambitious and idealistic, it's also being victorious, heroic, it's balancing carnal and spiritual forces, it's movement fueled with planning, your victory is assured, it's conquest of mind over emotions. It's a confident personality. It can also represent your car or transportation, travel, and comfort. It can be a struggle or a conflict of interest. You'll need to steer, steer a mental course through opposing feelings, thoughts, and desires. This is being ready to move forward, and it's that little extra push hard, and you can fix any trouble that arises. Maybe you're waiting for conditions to be just perfect, but when are they ever? You're pursuing or completing a goal, overcoming obstacles, moving forward, staying on track. The hanged man with a cherry card is having little control over your life. It's victory by biding your time. It can be settling down. The page of cups with the four of cups is feeling emotionally flat, feeling let down. It's wanting more romance. The Page of Cups with the Magician card is emotional benefits by seeing the world in a new way. It can also represent emotional manipulation. The Page of Cups with the Chariot card is sensitivity you control. It's controlling your dreams, your daydreams. It's using your willpower to control new emotions. This can also represent a very handsome person. 
The Four of Cups with the Magician card is, represents something that's lacking substance. The Four of, car, of Cups with the Chariot is wanting a better life. It's victorious over troubled feelings or troubles, and it's feeling motivated. The Magician with the Chariot card is controlling your willpower and desires. It's a willpower, direction, and control. You have everything at your disposal and the power to manifest it. Your card from the Vice Versa Tarot deck by Lunia Weatherstone. The Seven of Wands. Fire Energy. The Seven of Wands. That is... Seven of Wands is the card of the Lion Heart. It's this side. A soldier stands smiling upon a low stone, holding a battle staff in his hands. His attitude is that of a conqueror, and the sta staves lying at his feet proclaim the surrender of his enemies. The cloak and ornamented tunic and belt show that he is a soldier of some rank. This victory may improve that standing and take him higher in his career. As the dust settles, he has a good reason to smile. When you get this side in a reading, the low stone is symbolic of a slight elevation in status, with an implied warning not to exaggerate its importance. It is a step up, but there's still a lot left to achieve. That said, you can take pride in having succeeded thus far. Let that pride feed your ambition, not your ego. Thanks, you guys, Sagittarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.